Salutations, ladies and gentlemen. And why do I even bother with this? Because that was a really short run through, because I immediately hit the fanatic and then just stonewalled. We've got our forces, we'll just make two double feature episodes. Alright, you four, let's see what we can do in the farmstead. We can provision. Because I'm assuming there's n we're just going to be doing lots of fighting. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to take a bunch of food with me. Also, no. The Crimson Curse on you at least makes sense. Who, what else do I want to get rid of? That I really, really am never... I've never used the Book of Sanity. And as long as I have the Aria box, which is somehow better than the Book of Sanity, I'll just sell one Book of Sanity. So if it's just the combat thing, we're not going to need shovels. I will take laudanum, because laudanum's useful. I will take two sections of the blood just in case. And then like four medicinal herbs just in case as well. I don't have a vestal here. These are both grave robbers. Let us... Yo! Slabs etched with certain celestial designs were erected around the perimeter of the farmstead. The miller, lamentably eager for some early sign of improvement, fixed his watery eyes intently upon the wilted fields and listless mill. My gaze, however, was cast skyward, and I marveled at the limitless profanity of the stars, wondering what harvest might come. Mr. Miller, let's meet you. Seems safe enough for now. Crack this bad boy open and onward we go. Foreman, stir the rabble. Hmm. Yeah, we'll transform. This is why I took the stress reduction as much as I can for him, because he's going to gain stress every single turn. However, the nice thing about this is we can basically kill a farmhand every single turn with this setup. This does extra damage versus marked targets. So let's try and kill the foreman before he does anything else. Okay, this kind of went in the reverse order of what I kind of wanted it to do. We'll vulnerability hex him for next turn, so one of these guys might be able to take it off. Many hands. Empowered with speed and protection. It's, that's the transformation stress. It doesn't reduce the stress that happens every turn. Something like this reduces stress that happens every turn. And another dead farmhand. And a dead crystal. Oh, hey. Oh, never mind that. I thought that'd be something else. Uh, you know what? We will hit you with an Eldritch Blast, just to make it likely that you'll be able to finish Press it. this advantage. Give them no quarter. Yeah, the Restraining Padlock is only really good in the event that you're going to be transforming back and forth a lot. But since you can only transform once, it's not a good idea, to say the least. Ooh, that is a miss I could able afford. Let's hopefully take on the other farmhand. I could flashing daggers instead. But I've already started working on killing him. As so the might fiend well kill falls, him. a faint hope blossoms. And we'll do a full heal. Undoing everything that occurred. Stress is how they're going to stop the horror. Now, one test I've never learned is if Laudanum gets rid of the horror status effect. I thought it did, 
it might not. I'll at least give it a try. I could rake. Mm, rage is better than just trying to kill one person off entirely. Laudanum? Yeah, Laudanum does actually get rid of the stuff. How nice. Be gone, fiend. Huh. You do heal every time that's destroyed. Okay. This is armor piercing. Sweet. Obliterated. That was an obliteration. Sweet. Uh, sure, we can just do a full heal. Rake? Oh yeah, I forgot Rake does increase damage. Such a terrible assault cannot hmm. be left unanswered. Perhaps it would be better if I just started spamming Rake every turn and just have him clear the first two sets each and every single time. And then we could just use things like flashing daggers to help clean things up. It's unfortunate we didn't kill him in one go. Uh, we'll poison darken because I don't want to do another action whatsoever. Destroy them all. And this is why I took the burst heal. Now, I don't have anyone that can get rid of stealth, unfortunately. Because I thought Vulnerability Hex used to get rid of it, but I think they took that away. I didn't actually bother reading the patch notes. I will warn. Well, I guess flashing daggers. Their formation is broken. Slowly Maintain kill the, the offensive. Sweet, I could still rake and just hit the horse. Back to the pit. Uh, you don't have flashing daggers, so you know what? A speed boost is never a miss. Neither is a heal. Now, what do you do on two health? Trample. How bad is trample? We have no idea. And the game smartly doesn't actually show us if we fail. A victory. So you're dead. Perhaps the turning point. We'll rake again, which will put it at its maximum damage buff per turn. Decimated. And now we're just killing them each and every single round of combat. Destroy. Jesus. It's gonna be a turn where we're not gonna be able to do anything, is it? Sleepers? Sleepers Herald with a repost. Interesting, but it's armor piercing, so. Another abomination. We kill it instantaneously. Uh, no one actually needs healing right now. Not even you. So we'll just rake. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. And we'll kill the farmhand. Oh, we can't kill the farmhand because we killed them too fast. Whoops. That's the problem I want to have in this game, killing them too fast. Now, we're going to run into the problem of the Abomination becoming stressed very quickly, which is why I'm hoping I can have him either crit or kill something each and every single turn. Let's hopefully do just that. If we clear the course, does this just get skipped? Another one falls. I think it does. Uh, that's just his back to. And gives you stealth. Interesting. Well, you'll pass. You can take a little bit of stress. And try to get a critical on you, even though it'd be useless. It can't reduce stress. Sleeper's dream. Safe from the comet's maddening light. Or now? Okay. Let's open this up. Sometimes greed is good. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I should have taken something that could de-stress him. I might have him spam Absolution for a while and just rely on the other two damage dealers. Splendorous. Virtue, stress skills. Time has no dominion here. Neat. And the music's changed. 
Okay, you've piqued my interest. We'll start hitting at range. Uh, you'll just absolution right now, and we'll just slowly restore your stress. It reverted him, it's just his stress heal is less than the stress he gains. I honestly like him to just do a graveyard stomp. A bayonet jab isn't bad because we could just do a full heal off the bayonet jab. And honestly, I don't care that much about this right now because we could just spend our times basically restoring him to full. On second thought, I should have healed him up. Oh well. Oof. Um, maybe. I have to get rid of one. Axe blade against Herbert, but Herbert can heal. Confusion, nerves, and panic. At least their accuracy is through the freaking room. And as long as Herbert's taking attacks, I don't think like I could complain. Start trying to heal with the occultist. Admittedly, we're not expect I'm not expecting much. A dizzying blow to body and brain. Can you not? Can you not? Thank you. Oh no, seeds of madness still happen here. Executed with impunity. Not a big fan. Uh, we'll pick his brain a little bit. Pick's not that great compared to... Here it comes. Alright, well, if that happened, then we're transforming him back. And rake, because we need to start working on these guys. Okay, you still dodged. Okay. Renes, or Renes, you are the luckiest woman I've ever seen. A singular strike. The good old zero heal indeed. Let's kill the bone bulwark before the bone bulwark tries to do anything else untoward. Um, uh, Throne Dagger? No, we'll get the Bone Veteran. There'll only be one creature. Admittedly, it's... That's when Laudanum hits, and I'll be very un unhappy when Laudanum hits, but I'll just have to accept it. Well, there's no zero bleed there. There's just ten damage in bleed. Yeah, you only have one use of transformation. You should be able to get rid of the slavering ghoul before too long. It's just gonna take a lot of shots. A lot of shots. I don't get it. You're supposed to be a lot better at range skills. Why does pick to the face deal so much damage? Precision I'm not gonna complain. It's just, it feels really. Oh, armor piercing. Right. Duh. Singular strike. I could see it. I could see him channeling an inner Irishman. Resist the stun, which is good. Bone commander, which is bad. Well, I think Rake just deals the most damage right now, and keeping the damage buff rolling is monstrous. Our best size interest. has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, you guys are weak to blight, right? Right, so let's just start working on that. Uh, you got the bleed, so you got health now, but you're gonna lose it all later. And stun. Who gets stunned? No one does. Wait, what? Oh, okay. 
because I should just clear corpses. I'm going to rely on Rake to be able to finish these off, because I don't think these things can dodge. Why does this have less bleed resist than the other? My immersion, why is it breaking? One random crystal somehow has less than 100% bleed resist. Just a little bit less than the other. <sighs> Alright, crushing blow is gonna go down on you. No, another ground pound. But we all dodge. Slightly bloody crystal. After this group is dead, we should be able to move on to the next. And with the poison darts here, I think if this actually lands the blight, it'll be dead. So we can move on to the next one, which is attack you. You're going to get a stressful incantation from Herbert, which is going to send a stress through the roof. Not what I wanted to see. And stumbling scratch. This is what I get for not bringing any stress reduction. Well, hopefully your Great madness is, the weapon is a virtue. That cuts on its, own. it's a virtue. I'll be actually fairly happy. Resolve tested. Powerful. Anger is power. Sweet. Unleash it. Kill them all, Johnny. Kill them all. some trickery and it's dead. Thank you, Herbert, for being a wonderful abomination. At last, some sheltered corner of reality. Yeah, we'll crack this bad boy open. Tantalizing provisions to renew a body. Oh, okay, that's just healed. Nice to know. I'm going to use the food here, because I'm not using it anywhere else. Continue. Well, if you're powerful, I don't care as much about your maximum stress. So I'm just going to transform you and have you start murdering things this instant. Ah, oh, it broke the Dreamer's Crystal, but didn't break one of the farmhands. Disappointing. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? It's dumb to divide up attacks, but I don't want him to get a trample off. I'll be honest, I kinda don't want to see what happens. So, he'll get an attack on Herbert, but Herbert doesn't exactly care about this anymore. Herbert is uh, operating according to his own time, his own schedule, size alone and his schedule does demands not they die the instant. Blade. Uh, you'll just have to whack the corpse. You will... there's no one to heal, so you can just vulnerability hex the large corpse, because, you know, why not? And then, let's just try and stab this thing. Two crystals? No crystals. Hmm. Well struck. I wonder. The color of madness. So this is. It's obviously based off of Lovecraft's work. Yet at the same time, it seems to take inspiration from Reanimator, Color from Out of Space. I wonder what other inspirations they took into this. We'll see before too long. Darn it! For my plans? I mean, you are right. The occultist is fat, but... Now, one of my ideas for... In like a few months' time, I'm still trying to organize it in my head and actually get the will to start preparing for it. Now, because of this DLC, it's going to look so unoriginal. <sighs> Their cursed champion makes me falls. sad. Oh, Jesus. Rolf. A time to perform beyond one's limits. At least we can get rid of the crystals. 
Jesus. You can even crit the heal. Okay. Big fatty fat fat. Is anybody injured? No. No one is injured. I mean, I'll use the heal. Just to use it, but... So the Sleeper's Herald, I don't even know what it does, I just know that it dies. Let's start trying to work at the farmhands. Those two are cleared instantly. Except the corpse is still remaining. I will throw a dagger back here and executed. off him anyway, and literally the only thing that remains is this farmhand, so we'll just mark him. It must hurt to slap Crystal. It must really hurt to slap Crystal. Yet at the same time, it's amusing to watch this happen. My veins, my veins are on fire. A decisive pummeling. Wow, you channeled your pain to that crit. I could feel it. The ground Good quakes. Lord. Daryl, why? All right. So I think we're going to face the Miller. I will pass, because I'm not going to cause stress. Beyond time and space. Resupply and recover, but be quick. You can get food. What's your debuff? Minus one speed for four rounds. It's entirely useless, but I'm not using them for anything else. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. We'll proc the holy water. Why not? I'm curious. The poor fool still stands, battered and broken as his precious mill. Well, you've piqued my interest. It is another boss with multiple actions and a scythe, so I'm going to always be concerned, but we might as well see. Herbert, for whatever reason, can drink the blood right now. Anyone can drink the blood, it just isn't a wise idea. Like, it's a really terrible idea. I'll just keep raking, because he's just gonna summon people. This seems like a summon fight. You're not marked yet, and you have very little blight resistance, so you know what? I'll start applying blight to you. The master beckons. So you summon a farmhand, as expected. I'm gonna mark you. A powerful blow. We'll mark you and see what we can do. Winter's breath. We got frozen farmhand. Oh, good lord. The abyss. Well, that's returns, disturbing. Even the boldest gaze. Might as well keep raking. Oh, it's not even lethal. Guarded by the frozen farmhand. Well, no matter what happens, the attack is going to be redirected. Uh, no one needs healing yet, so you might as well just renew the mark in the debuff. Make sure that it remains so on him. And then we'll start trying to kill him. The harvest happens. I'm guessing Sing Scythe. Gain life. Yeah. And protection. And the master beckons another random duder. God, he is actually the insane farmhand. Wait, what? You get an action at the end of the turn? No other summon boss does that. What do you just take me for, game? Break them all, Johnny. Guess we'll mark the Miller again. And then we'll continue to try to shank him with knives. Like, this guy looks so perforated already. Just imagine all the... Okay, that didn't do anything else. Alright, alright, sorry. I was actually kind of afraid. We 
get? On attack random target. All right. That's what they do. That's good to see. Shame that it's dead and the only target is the Miller. Nothing lives for long on these barren fields. Oh, the slapping is over with. And we successfully have completed the quest. Let's leave. Lots and lots of dead folks. Lots and loads and loads of dead folks. We even collect some karma charts from this as well. Perfect. Alright, what else do you have for me? Deviant Taste with a clutch hit. You're now up to level 5, so you're basically worthless to me. Oystrum, Stress Eater, and Hemophilia. It, no, it was easy. Woe to the sheep. Or does the absence of the shepherd not invite the wolves? A select few champion heroes have come to answer the strange call of the comet. They hunger for the spoils of the otherworldly vessel and can only be used for the endless harvest quest in the farmstead. They can be found in the stagecoach. An absent abbot. The abbot has sequestered himself in the wine cellar, ostentation, ostensibly, ostensibly to consider how best to help his parishioners cope with the deluge of godless horrors that plague these lands. Worryingly fitting indeed, shard mercenaries. Here for adventure, where does it start? Interesting. Do these guys have anything interesting to them? 10% charred loot taken here will be unable, only able to undertake the Endless Harvest quest in the farmstead. Like, could I just remove the negative traits from him and just take him normally? Curious. Probably. If I get him to re-roll it enough. Hmm. Shard loot taken. Here I'll only be able to undertake the endless quest. Mad at arms. Tone deaf. They can have negatives for certain skills. Which is okay, because I never see those skills anyway. You all interest me. You all interest me indeed. Endless harvest begins. With the Miller defeated, the farmstead slips even further beyond time and space. Some of the party and face the strangeness awaits. Face whatever strangeness awaits in the endless harvest. It's darkest. Defeat as many enemies as possible. Interesting, interesting. Well, I'm going to do that in a moment, but I'm actually going to take a slight break because I just want to get some water. So I'll be back in like a minute or two. Enjoy the tunes of the darkest of dungeons while we...